Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to do a monthly favorites video and this is just um, products and things that I've enjoyed using throughout the month of October and honestly a lot of them I've used for quite a while now. I will mention what I have and it's probably a majority of them but um, this is everything for October. If you like anything let me know below but I will try to link things as I can just in case you are interested so it's quicker for you that way. So if you are interested in what I've been loving lately, then please keep watching. So recently we took a trip, a quick trip to Dallas, and the, um, I always use pretty much the same bag as like my carry-on or just as a quick bag just to put things in. And this one I've been using for several years and I've had it for a while, but since we did go on a trip in October, I thought it would be necessary to include in this video. And it's this little backpack bag here. I know these are pretty popular nowadays, but I've had mine for um, quite a while, a couple years now, and I absolutely love it. It is a, um, the brand is Rebecca Minkoff, it says here on the back, and it's just a backpack like this. It has a long, nice strap here, or a zipper, and you can unhook it this way. You can unhook it at the bottom and put it to the top. But either way, it has a great middle pocket. There's lots of room in there, and then there's a couple like security pockets in there too. Then it has two nice side pockets and then a little back pocket. So I usually put like our boarding pass if we're flying, obviously, passports, whatever we need, I will put in here along with like um, just quick makeup items, hand sanitizer, you know, just the essentials like that. So I might do like a review video on this bag because I don't know how many are out there. And this is a very popular style. There's like a dark color, it's leather too. Pretty sure it's real leather. Um, there's like a wider color, a darker color, and this is kind of like the middle color. I believe this was the chestnut color. So I really, really love this bag. It is super comfortable also and the straps are also adjustable here on the side. So that was my bag I've been loving. And lately I've been, not crimping my hair but kind of doing like waves in my hair and i love this um tool here the styling tool it is by bedhead and it's called the wave artist i believe i got it like at target maybe i believe it was target for probably 25 30 dollars and it works really really good i really love this tool my hair is pretty fine as it is so using this all over my head and using a little bit of like volume powder or you know, root powder, something like that, really helps give it a lot of volume. Makes it look a lot fuller than what it is, so I really enjoy doing this. Um, it actually works really quickly with my hair because there's not a whole bunch of it, and it's just, it's really good. It doesn't give you that crinkly, crimpy wave if you're really not looking for that. It just gives you a nice, soft wave if that's the style you're going for. The next few items I wanted to share with you are a couple makeup items. And I've, I'm pretty sure I've done some like makeup videos on these, like tutorials, but I just, I'm always drawn to these makeup items, especially the makeup, the eyeshadow palettes, because they're great quality. They're not that expensive for what you get, especially um, this one here, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I absolutely love this one. If you know anything about Jaclyn or if you follow any of her videos, anything like that, it took her quite a while, I believe, to come out with this palette because she was trying to perfect all the shadows, the consistency, the way they were pressed, you know, the whole nine yards as far as the production of it. So, and that was really good of her because, you know, quality is everything. If you put your name on it, you want your product to be great quality. So this comes with, let's see how many colors. I believe it's 35. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 35 colors. You get um, five rows of seven. There's a bunch of neutral. I'm sorry, there's a bunch of warm shades. There's some neutrals. You have some darker shades. And there's also some shimmers and a bunch of matte shades. There's pretty much every color in here that you could want or at least that I would want. So I always gravitate toward this palette. It doesn't crease in your eye, you know, over the, over the day when you're wearing it. Um, and I don't really ever wear like an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow primer. And um, I don't know, I really like these colors. They're beautiful colors in here. I might do another video on some makeup looks for this. The next eyeshadow palette that I've had for a little while now that I use quite often, especially now because we're getting into fall, and I do love the beautiful fall kind of warm colors in this palette, is the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills 
Modern Renaissance palette. This has been out for a while, but it's absolutely one of my favorites. Like I said, especially for fall. These are the beautiful colors. Some of my favorites are red ochre, Venetian red. I love cypress umber, or I'm sorry, cypress umber. You really can't go wrong with any of these. These are great quality. This is a little bit more money than the other one. You get less product, but it's worth it because the quality is great. I want my eyeshadows to last all day. I don't want the creasing to happen and I don't want a lot of fallout. So I don't experience that with these two eyeshadow palettes. My next product is a makeup product and this is probably my favorite mascara that I've used to date. I've used tons of high-end mascaras and a bunch of just drugstore mascaras and this one is newer. It's not brand new, but it's a little bit newer, I guess you could say. It's the Voluminous Lash Paradise, and this is by L'Oreal. I just used the color Blackest Black. This stuff, I might try to put some close-ups of everything, is amazing. I always have problems with my eyeshadow, or my, I'm sorry, my uh, mascara getting on my upper lid. I don't really know why that happens, but this stuff is excellent. This gives you such great volume with your lashes. It doesn't clump them. It doesn't do that spidery look that I do not like, especially for me. And this is just a great mascara. I think it's nine, it's less than $10. So you really can't go wrong. You can find this pretty much anywhere. You don't have to go to like a Sephora or a Nordstrom to find something specific. This is in your drugstores, your grocery store, Walmarts, whatever pretty much wherever you're going to shop, you'll probably find this. The next few items are also makeup, and this is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Liquid Foundation. I have two colors. I have um, number 20, which is classic ivory, and I have number 15, which is ivory. I like to mix the two because right now, I my skin tone, I guess, is just kind of in the middle of these two. If I use the 15, it's just basically a little bit too white and the 20 is almost a little bit too dark so I just try to mix the two and it's great it's very lightweight I really like these check them out if you're looking for something different and I don't know I just really like them they feel really good on the skin they don't dry me out so I will continue to purchase these the next few things are a couple skincare items um, I really like if I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to wash my face um, I usually t go for it's the Garnier Skin Active Microcellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. This is the pink packaging. I really like this stuff. It doesn't, um, it's not too harsh on my skin because sometimes my skin gets a little bit sensitive, especially like in the cooler months. But I really like using this stuff. They have another one that I think is waterproof, like if you're wearing um, maybe like heavier makeup or something like that, but I always just go for this one. It um, leaves my face feeling pretty moisturized and you don't need to like put it underwater to um, get the soap activated. It's all like in a towelette. So this is really good. And then the cleanser that I love ever since I got my last facial a few months ago is um, it's by Mod Vellum Clinical. So I don't know if you can just buy this online, I'll have to double check, but I'll put some information below. Um, it's the Mod Vellum Gentle Wash Low Lather Exfoliant Treatment and uh, reducing redness reducing. So I do kind of get a little bit of redness, but this stuff is so good. It's very good ingredients. Most of it, I believe, is all natural. Um, like I said, I'll put some more uh, information in the box below, but this stuff smells excellent. It has like a citrus flavor, and I just, I love using this stuff. It does have exfoliant, like I said, but it's gentle enough to use, you know, every day. The moisturizer that I love using, I use this every day, usually twice a day, is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil. You can use this everywhere, not just your face, you can use it everywhere. I bought this, I think, on um, at QVC when they were running a special they had this with a smaller one and then some other stuff so this is a really good product it feels so so nice it's like putting whipped cream on your face or something it's it'll last a long time I've had this for a few months now I've had it for a while and um, I've barely gone through it it's unscented which I really like and um, ultra hydrating what it says and that's exactly what it does the Drunk Elephant, it is the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I use this around my eyes, use it under my eyes, on the sides, and then a little bit on my eyelid, a little bit above my eyebrows too. Um, this stuff is specifically for the eye area because it 
is more, I guess it's just more packed with nutrients. Um, it's not as heavy as some of your regular facial, facial moisturizers. If you are looking to get into a nice skincare regimen, make sure you're looking at creams for your eyes that are specifically for your eyes because your under eye area is very sensitive. It is generally thinner skin than the rest of your face and you just don't want to use something too heavy that um, may not benefit it as well. Just do your research is the best thing. So this one's really great. Um, let's see the benefits. So featuring a brightening combination of eight peptides, five forms of vitamin C and cucumber extract for firmer, stronger looking skin around the eye area. I definitely feel like this has been working for me. I feel like my um, eye area, especially like on the sides when you smile, when you squint, how those lines get there. I do feel like some of those have um, reduced or they're not as noticeable. But I do this, I use this every day. I try to use it twice a day, but at least once a day. And um, I really like the packaging. It's nice, a little twist up and a pump at the top. And I try to keep this in the refrigerator. It makes it a lot, um, I think, it makes it last a little bit longer and it kind of gives like a nice cooling effect when you put it on and i really like the tom's brand this is aluminum free it's very important if you are using deodorant to try to find an aluminum free if you can this is the lavender this stuff is great i really like this stuff and it works too a lot of like all natural stuff especially deodorants you may find a lot of people complain that they don't work but i really think that one works so the last like beauty item is this nail polish. It's by Sally Henson. It's the Gel Miracle. I'm not wearing it on my nails right now, but it's pretty similar. I'll put a close up because it's kind of hard to see from here, but this stuff really works great. The other stuff I really like is the Essie brand, the gel line. So if you don't want to go spend $30, $40 every few weeks getting your nails like gel dipped or lacquer or whatever we're calling it nowadays, just spend like $10 a bottle on this stuff and it really works. I love dark colors. I, I always wear dark colors, but especially in the fall. So this is great too. And the last few things I want to share are a couple teas and a dessert that I really like. So I love tea. I'm a huge tea drinker. Um, this I got at Target. It's a Simply Balanced Organic Raspberry Hibiscus. If you go to Starbucks and you get like the raspberry hibiscus, whoops, <laughs> their raspberry hibiscus tea, um, I don't recall the exact name of it, but this stuff, this stuff tastes really good. Just put it, you know, if you want it cold, just brew it up and then put it over ice after it cools down for a little while. This stuff is great. It's fresh. Um, I don't believe there is much sugar. I think it's caffeine free. Yes, yeah, caffeine free, bright, sweet hibiscus with mild berry flavors. This is really good. And the other one I love and I drink daily is not necessarily um, this brand all the time, but I'm out of my other ones because I drink it all the time. But this is Chamomile Tea by Celestial Celestial Seasonings and it's the herbal tea, caffeine free. I love tea, especially at night. And I do tend to reach for the caffeine free. So this tea is great if you're feeling kind of, you know, I always drink this, but I especially grab this if like I'm not feeling well, if like my throat's hurting and this always makes me feel better. I'll put a little bit of honey in it or you know agave nectar if you have that instead if you want to sweeten it up but this is great by itself too and the last thing i want to share are uh, from garden lights i'm sorry it's so bright um, but i'll put close-ups this is the garden lights brand i found this at target but you can also get it i believe at heb and i'm you know i'm sure other places too but locally that's where i have it it's the veggies made great it's the double chocolate muffin but it's made with fresh zucchini and carrots and they look, um, they're gluten-free, 110 calories. Let's see, nutritionist approved. There's six muffins in here. This is a new box, so I'm gonna quickly go put it back. But there's 19 grams of sugar in here, uh, three grams of fat, four grams of protein. I mean, you can kind of check the nutritional thing on the back, but these taste so good. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are just some things, like I said earlier, that I've been loving this month, things that I normally gravitate to. So please give this video a thumbs up. I will try my best to link everything that I described in the description box below so you have access to it if you would like. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.